Miles. Welcome to Time Team again. Very nice to see you. Um, we had the joy of seeing you in your young archaeologist days, uh, which yes. was great fun uh, and catching up with all that. I, I enjoyed Alpha, D, Alpha Dean. I, I thought that by the end of it, there was quite a complete picture. What did you like about it? And why would you recommend someone to watch it? Why do you think it's a good watch? And what's a good thing to look out for? I think, I mean, the, the great thing about Alpha Dean, uh, it was lots of good things about it, but essentially it's a, it's a Roman site of a type that isn't normally looked at. Uh, Amancio on those posting stations on on the Roman road. There, there's there's a lot of them about, but very few of them are actually understood. So the opportunity to excavate one uh, and one that was actually looked like it was quite well preserved was 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 fantastic. And I have to say the the, the geophysical results. You know, John Gator and his team, as they were doing, they, they were, it's one of the best geophysical plots I think I've seen. You've got every individual post hole and pit and ditch, uh, and it's all mapped out. Absolutely beautifully. So, um, from that point of view, of actually mapping the site, and I think um, before it, before I even did that, um, Victor Ambrose had done a reconstruction drawing of what a Mancio should look like. And I think was it Neil Holbrook someone said, "No, no, it's not going to be a bit like that." And it was, you know. So he, he he predicted it beautifully. But the geophysics was was amazing. But there were it, it was a challenging <laughs> challenging site, shall we say? Um, the the, the geolo I mean, I'm, I'm spoilt terribly because I, I did a lot of digging in Sussex now in Dorset on the chalk and you've got nice white solid geology and everything cut down into every single pit or ditch or post hole is, is a nice dark deposit. At Alfaldine, you've got what the red clay and brick earth into which features filled with red clay brick earth <laughs> and, and you machine it off. And the, I mean, it was bizarre because a number of the trenches, you've got the geophysical plot that says, where everything is, but once the topsoils come off, you can't actually see it because you have to go by touch. Um, so I think the, the geophysics was was absolutely amazing, but the geology was challenging and the weather didn't help really, did it either? It was, uh, I, I, I saw it again on, on um, recently and uh, I don't think it quite conveys how wet it really was. It was catastrophically wet towards the end. And, and not being able to see anything, coupled with the fact that we were sliding all over the place um, and features were getting trashed, and and I think we had to cut finish early on day two because it was it was it, I, I seriously wondered whether we were going to actually achieve anything. You know, we're just going to come away with a nice geophysical plot and say we couldn't actually dig or find anything. So right. uh, it was and and the stubble uh, I'd forgotten about that as well. The I don't know what they were growing in that field. But the stubble was was like razor blades. It was really solid and it gassed your feet. And then when it was raining, you had that danger of actually sliding over and impaling yourself on them as well. So you know it was it was it was it was quite a challenge. Um, but but archaeologically speaking, at, at the end by, by the end of day three, the results that we're getting were were fantastic. I think I mean I I pitied you, and uh, was it was it Michael Douglas as well d directing? I think that, that will do um, because visually. You know, we could see the walls and you could see floors and pits, but with the, from the camera's perspective, it was just red. So yeah, I, I, we were worried that visually whether you'd be able to get across the fact this is a room, this is a building, this is what it looked like. But the trench is just one sort of overall colour with no real distinctions in. So it's not like a digging on the chalk or digging where you've got a mosaic floor and you can see everything and you don't need your imagination. You needed a lot of imagination there, but I think the results were, were quite spectacular. And of course, what you wouldn't have seen while we were digging and, and was done uh, sort of in, by, by, the, by the guys doing the graphics, Neil and Ray Zan and Victor's drawing, was that in the final edit, we were able to actually rebuild that structure in various ways based on various bits of information. Um, Absolutely. I think bits like the little bits of wall plaster, when you can then sort of say, the block reconstruction and you get a real sense there was a little I think one of those computer was it Neil had put it together and race and the the um one of the rooms in the Mancio where you've got the bed and you've got the wall plaster and you know it looks or tall in pence tense purposes like a sort of a budget B and B or sort of motel today but it, it was fantastic to actually be able to to reconstruct a Roman interior and I think that came across really really well. Was there one particular thing without giving too much away that would 
people can look forward to 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 have a look at it just as I, I think the the the, the beginning of the program is great because of, of the potential in the geophysics and but the end when we're starting to come up with the finds there are some really nice finds towards the end uh, and especially a, a potential burial uh, and, and other features so finds wise it, it was amazing and, and the structures are there it just takes a little bit of the eye of faith to to actually sort of visualize some of the buildings but the the artifacts were, were absolutely stunning well, thank you very much indeed for your time. I know you're very busy and you're doing your online lectures and everything, but it's been great talking to you. Best wishes to all our friends at Bournemouth University. And uh, I look forward to talking to you again at some point in the future. Thank you, Tim. Take care. can't do any of this work without you so please subscribe back us on patreon and make sure that time team comes back again